This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. In front of you, you are seeing the 12 rookies that the Arizona Cardinals drafted in the 2024 NFL Draft. Today, we're going to be diving into which exact rookies impressed so far in this year's training camp. Let's get started. What's going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content right now we are covering everything training camp after this we're going to be covering everything preseason and of course getting ready here for the 2024 regular season go ahead and subscribe it up it's absolutely for free all right everybody, let's go and dive right into it let's talk about the arizona cardinals rookie class that so far is impressing in this year's training camp now if you guys do not know the arizona cardinals did have a total of 12 draft picks leaving the 2024 nfl draft and i don't know about you but i don't expect the arizona cardinals to hit every one of these draft picks as a home run, right? But I do expect a grip of these guys to be you know, a, a potential starter for the Arizona Cardinals for the foreseeable future. Now, if you take a look at this graphic here, the Arizona Cardinals had a total of 12 draft picks leaving the 2024 NFL Draft. And right now, I can comfortably say that there's at least seven draft picks that the Arizona Cardinals did a pretty darn good job. Now, I'm not sitting here and saying every single one of these guys are going to be superstars for the Arizona Cardinals. No, all I'm saying is that the Arizona Cardinals can potentially have these guys as a staple point for the future and a potential starter for the next three or four or five years, just kind of really depending on how their career unfolds, right? Now, I have seen enough from the guys that we have already checkmarked on this graphic that I think that they actually put a name out for themselves. I think they actually solidified a spot in the 53-man roster. Now, if we go ahead and take a look here at the rookies that we have marked here, is obviously Marvin Harrison Jr. is doing exactly as advertised when we got him with the fourth overall pick. Everybody was expecting greatness. And honestly, right now with what I've seen in training camp and with what we've heard from the coaching staff and the Cardinals organization and the players in the locker room is that Marvin Harrison Jr. is exactly as advertised. The guy that we've seen in college is a guy that translates into the NFL. Now, granted, we want to see exactly what he does in an NFL regular season game, but what, what we've seen in training camp so far, Marvin Harrison Jr. is catching every ball that's thrown to him. He's making some absolutely crazy catches with Kyler Murray throwing the ball to him, and it automatically seems like the duo of Kyler Murray and Marvin Harrison Jr. is definitely going to be a duo to watch for the foreseeable future. So definitely, Marvin Harrison Jr. was a very good pick. Now, let's talk about Darius Robinson. Darius Robinson on the solo drills when it comes down to the defense this man is actually doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing now I said this before on a prior video Darius Robinson is really hard to evaluate because when you're looking at the defense in training camp they're not able to really put their full effort because if they do get penetration across the line then they do have to kind of slow down because they're not able to get a sack on Kyler Murray, Clayton Toon or Desmond Ritter but what what we've seen from Darius Robinson he definitely has the physical attributes he definitely has the tools to succeed in this role that the Arizona Cardinals will put him in now there wasn't a recent interview from Darius Robinson that said he's actually played in the edge role as well as the interior role as well so Darius Robinson might be a guy that might be floated around on the defensive line now if that actually scares you you're not you're not alone there it kind of scares me there as well because I would like Darius Robinson to be a guy that's absolutely one position only and focus on that position and master it but if he is actually excelling in both these roles at the edge position or in the interior just kind of really depending on what formation is actually put out there on the defense and if he's succeeding then at the end of the day you know I, I i can sleep you know very very well at night but that's the latest on darius robinson on the solo drills i definitely think he is absolutely doing a fantastic job and overall he seems like an overall great human being and a hopefully Hopefully a great locker room guy for the future. Now let's dive into Max Melton. We've seen Max Melton take some first team reps, which is absolutely super exciting on the defensive side of the ball. It definitely is very obvious that the Arizona Cardinals are favoring Sean Murphy Bunting and Garrett Williams as the potential CB1 and CB2. But with Max Melton, we're talking about a guy that could potentially be a guy that's going to have a, a lot of playing time if we have a nickel package out there or a potential CB2 or CB1 for the future. Talking about 20. 25 
2025 or 2026. But we've seen enough from Max Melton that I do think he's going to have a solid career in the NFL. Really excited to see what he can do. Now let's move on over to Trey Benson. Trey Benson is absolutely done nothing but impress me throughout the entirety of training camp. This guy is absolutely always always around the ball, whether he's running the ball or catching the ball out of the backfield. Now, one thing I would love to see is Trey Benson run with the ones. We're not going to see that because James Conner is obviously RB1 for the Arizona Cardinals offense, but Trey Benson, there's definitely an obvious agenda for the Arizona Cardinals and what they're trying to do with his career and how they're trying to kind of you know, make him it, it, hopefully a focal point for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I actually seen Trey Benson also uh, be used as a punt returner in training camp as well. So everything that they're doing for the Arizona Cardinals on offense, they are trying to get the ball in the hand of their playmakers. And obviously, Trey Benson is a very, very good running back out of Florida State. So I'm excited to see how he's going to translate for the Arizona Cardinals as a potential RB1 for the future, and I'm talking about 2025 and 2026 and beyond. Super excited to see what he's going to do for the Cardinals. Now, let's move on over to another rookie that so far has impressed. It's going to be none other than Tip Ryman, tight end that we got with a third round pick. Now, I'm not going to lie to you here. When we first got him, I was like, hmm, interesting. We got Trey McBride. Why do we need Tip Ryman? But with what we've seen, with what we've heard already leading up to the moment that we are currently in now, Tip Ryman is not a guy that's going to give you 800, 900 yards, eight, nine touchdowns. No, he's not going to give you that, right? He's going to be a guy that's going to be an additional you know, kind of an offensive lineman to help our run game. And so far, we've seen Tip Ryman run with the twos. We've seen a little bit running with the ones as well, but basically his main job is to have another weapon out there that can catch the ball if need be, but is actually out there to help out that run game and hopefully open up some holes for James Conner because this guy is an absolute beast. He's an absolute mammoth of a human being. I'm really excited to see what he can do for the Arizona Cardinals run game. He so far has impressed in this year's training camp. But I want to give a huge shout out here to BetUS that are sponsoring this video here. If you're looking for a brand new sports book, BetUS is the way to go. They got the fastest payouts in the industry. They give you 125% sign up bonus up to $2,000 on your first three deposits. Now, if you haven't checked them out currently right now, they do have a current bet on their website and it is, are the Arizona Cardinals going to make the playoffs? If you are high on the Arizona Cardinals as much as I am currently right now, you can go ahead and put yes at plus 300 and get yourself some easy money. And again, if you want to copy my bet, the link is in the description below. Now, let's talk about another rookie so far that's impressed in this year's training camp. That's going to be none other than Dadrian Taylor Demerson. Now, as of right now, I do not know if he is going to have a starting role with the Arizona Cardinals. But what, what we've seen so far, I've seen him run with the twos. I've seen him run with the threes. I think we're talking about a potential safety for the future for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, he might not have a role very very quickly maybe he can excel in special teams for now but I love his personality I love with what we've seen from him he seems like a really good charismatic locker room type of guy and if we can get some sort of you know I, I don't know just momentum and swag from this young guy I definitely think he is going to be a guy that can be with the Cardinals for three or four years down the road now with him it might be a little tough because we do have our safeties Buda Baker as well as Jalen Thompson but if you do not know Buda Baker is currently under his last year under contract does not have any guaranteed salary this year so definitely leave some questions out there of is Daydrum potentially going to be a safety of the future for the Arizona Cardinals but with what we've seen in training camp so far I really like with what we've seen from him now let's move on over to my last guy in terms of drafted rookies for the Arizona Cardinals that's gonna be none other than Christian Jones now Christian Jones has not had a lot of time running with the ones at all I think we already know who's gonna be our offensive lineman but Christian Jones is gonna be a potential you know focal point for the future for the Arizona Cardinals I like what we've seen from him coming out of Texas and I think he could be a really really good staple for the Arizona Cardinals offensive line let's dive into my last rookie that has absolutely impressed me so far in this year's training camp that's gonna be none other than Xavier Weaver out of Colorado I've been so high on Xavier Weaver, especially since we got him undrafted. He wasn't a part of the 12 guys that we drafted, but he was one of the three guys that we got undrafted. And honestly, this is a really, really good player for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, one of the biggest, I guess, worriness that comes from 
Is Xavier Weaver going to make the 53-man roster? We have a lot of wide receivers right now that's, you know, it, it definitely can very well be a crowded wide receiving room with Zay Jones, Marvin Harrison Jr., Michael Wilson, Greg Dortch, right? We got a lot of pieces, but can we potentially bring in five wide receivers, six wide receivers? Can we move them to the practice squad, right? I want Xavier Weaver to be at least a practice squad type of guy because I've seen some make some absolutely great catches, whether it's running with the twos, whether it's running with the threes. Xavier Weaver, whenever given the opportunity, is there to catch the ball. And he's actually made some really, really good plays in Colorado and I do think it can translate here into the NFL as long as he can get that opportunity. Definitely a name to look out for is going to be Xavier Weaver. And now I'm not sitting here saying Isaiah Adams, Elijah Jones, Xavier Thomas, Tyjon Palmer, Jaden Davis are not going to make the 53 man roster. I'm not saying that here, but I do think they are more of a developmental type of prospects. I don't think I've seen enough here in training camp to say, yes, they're going to make the 53 man roster. Can they? Yes, absolutely, right? We had heard Jonathan Gannon come out and say, right now he cannot pencil every single starter on either side on the 11 side the players on the offensive line or the 11 players on the defensive line he cannot pencil in anybody right now there's still a lot of open competition so you might absolutely be surprised out there but there is a, a, a big big focal point to say if the Arizona Cardinals can get seven out of their 12 2024 rookies to absolutely excel and obviously their undrafted rookie here in Xavier Weaver that definitely could be a home run knock out of the park here for Monty Austin for in the 2024 season let me know what your thoughts are what do you think of the 2024 rookies heading into the 2024 regular season is there anybody that impressed you that I have not had on my list let me know here in my comments below I appreciate y'all for tuning in as always have a great rest of your day and go cards